media to especially those who experienced the multi-party agitation in the streets in 1997. A culture had grown by then that uh, a group of, let me call them ragtag youths, would, would fight on the side of the government alongside the police. It's something I witnessed myself physically. Uh, so it is not far-fetched what he's saying, that uh, when crooked governments are cornered, they use all methods possible to, to maintain themselves in power. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Guru, for that. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's a newcomer, Mr. Mzalendo, if you are ready, you can say your thing. Oh, just before Mzalendo, I think there's a question to... Mato, you have a question or a comment? Unmute, Mato, yes. No, no, it's a, it's a good night clerical call of uh, telling you guys that uh, we've had a good night and uh, I'm signing out to go and take care of some things, but I'll be listening to you guys on the other side. I just wanted to tell you guys good night. Uh, that's all I wanted to do. Guru, Asante Sana. Uh, but Adams, thank you to see you back. To know how to amianza kurudi sasa. Daddy, yeah. <laughs> my friend i'm coming i'm coming you know you still have it in germany no, this is last year this is this 2023 <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i wanted to say uh good night and uh just say uh i'm signing out strong pk you got this one so we'll see you guys another day thank you so much for everybody Thank, thank you, Matom. Zalendo has not said anything, Mato. Uh, he, no, he, he wants to. Uh, no, he, he knows we talk on each other like that. We, no, we have not run away today. I'm not even. I'm, I'm here for only maybe a minute or two. Yeah, Zalendo I, is your time. I know you had not said anything. No, it's, Mato is running away. He, he, he said you'll always run away when I get into the show. Go so go don't ahead. run away, my brother. Uh, okay, you, I'll you, stay. I'll stay. You are a true, you are a true patriot. Patriots don't run away. Okay, I'll stay. But that, that was not the reason I was running away. I'll stay. I I have another maybe five minutes before I okay. run. It's just that uh, I have to pick up my daughter. Uh thank you, Stony PK. Thank you, uh, Kenyan. Ombian. Uh, I don't have my glasses. Oh my God. Ombian de Jeremani and uh adams and guru um what germany said here is very very powerful uh, although although it was a bit dodgy but uh he said um he wants to see a demonstration in uh in central where baba got so many votes that is something that is very very powerful then he also said that uh, when you look at the side, uh, at what happened uh, yesterday at Kamkunji, you could see clearly that uh, the people of Mombasa were not present in that rally. You could see clearly that uh, all the governors, all the governors affiliated to Azimio were not in that rally. And uh, I know maybe it was a strategy maybe maybe you could tell us more about why uh, they didn't attend such a big function because baba was just coming back and we had waited for this day for the big launch uh for the movement for the revolution and all the big players were missing so i don't know whether it is a strategy or they are divided on the issue yeah, uh, maybe Guru and other panelists who are affiliated to Azimio can can answer that. But uh, I want to congratulate Azimio supporters for conducting themselves uh, properly. 
and uh, there were no tear gas, there were no deaths, there were no muggings. That was a plus. That's it's a very, very big plus yeah. in uh, away from what we are used to. After every rally or the last one that happened when Baba was being welcomed back. So I think the government allowed everything to happen the way it happened. And I believe, just as I said, uh, William Samoa Ruto will allow these rallies to happen because it's a constitutional right for every Kenyan to pick it. The only thing is that you don't disturb other people's peace. Uh, on uh, my last point uh, would be on, uh, I saw one of the Azimio, uh, Azimio agents, the chief presidential agent of Azimio, uh, saying that uh, Baba should come out clearly and uh, tell the world that they didn't have agents. This issue has been raised here before. Shortly after the rally, the chief Azimio agent who fell out, is a Maasai guy, I think, uh, said that you didn't have any agents in some of these areas like central province. You know, and that shows that clearly that Azimio were actually not prepared for this election. And that's what I've been saying here before that uh, Azimio aren't really prepared for this election. Although figures have been pushed, put up there, there's a very important form, which is an hard form, that the form 34A, that each and every agent should have as a backing, apart from whatever is sent in the server. You should have that form 34A. You should have it. Your agent should have it. And it is a requirement that you should have it. That is what you go back to Baba and say, you know, look at what the what what the portal is saying and look at what the server is saying. So if you don't have that, you don't have a case. I think those are very, very important issues that uh, you need to look into and maybe uh, see whether you, they were addressed properly uh, in the past. And uh, if they were not addressed, then going to the next election, probably you'll address them. But the way it is, some things that cannot be changed by law, like appointment or IBC, I don't know how that is going to be changed because we have a way in our constitution how IBC officials are appointed. Uh, thank you very much, uh, the moderator, PK. I think that those are the only issues that I wanted to talk about. Th thank you. Thank you, Mzalendo. Uh, anybody who wants to rebut Mzalendo? Yes, Guru. This matter of agents is one of the most contentious issues in our electoral process. It is contentious because there is this growing narrative that if you, uh, your agents are not present in a station, your election uh, results will not be authentic or the, 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 you run the risk of your election results being overturned or stolen. Who has the responsibility over the credibility of elections? Is it agents? Are they necessarily, in any case, if we have an, a, a, an IBC that is not compromised, how do we handle a situation where we have 20 parties having, a, 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 having a candidates in a classroom? Is it uh, that uh, that environment even compromises the results because of the many faces that uh, appear in the in the classroom where the the elections are taking place i think the next debate as we go to once improving the electoral processes is the role of agents because it's unfortunate some of them are actually the perpetrators of electoral malpractices they go there specifically with instructions to tinker 
with the process to favor their candidates, not to cross-check and see that their candidates get a fair, a fair deal. We also have a problem, and it, that problem is not just about the 2022 elections. It's been there that a political party is popular in a certain area. In fact, if people hear that you are an agent of a political party that is a, a such a rival, I'm taking a situation like uh, in Central, where you go and say that you are an agent of ODM deep in, uh, uh, you know, um, Marimanti, and those are the places very deep in the rural areas. The, th how that the, the agent is even uh, puts uh, his life or her life at risk because of the general political narrative. Okay? Most of the people right now in Central, as the figures are coming out, they chose to keep quiet. They did not want to engage in vibrant, robust debates with their UDA hot hands because they have a life to lead after the elections. And therefore, because they are going against the general wave in the rural area, they choose to put their voice at the booth silently, and that should be respected. So even as Muzalendo brings the issue of that there were no agents uh, of uh, this or the other political party in a certain particular area, I think it is time the issue of agents in the electoral process is looked afresh. Because at the end of the day, the bottom line is that the IBC is the one that should ensure that everybody is fairly treated and the results that come out of the stations are authentic and have not been tampered with. Asante. Thank you. Thank you, Mzal. I mean, thank you, Guru. Um, uh, if there's no one raising his hand or her hand, I think I'll also make uh, a comment um, unless someone is has a burning burning point. Now, I, I, I would want to comment, and I don't want to belabor on that. Thank you, Guru, for talk, bringing up that uh, agent issue. That's tired. Agent nonsense is tired, and we don't even want to hear about it because this is UDA narrative. Thieves talk like that. Uh, for me, I don't have time for thieves. You know, when you tell me, Mindyo niliweka kitu yangu mbaya, ndiyo kaiba, you are a thief. Simple as that. Uli, uli chukua kwa nini if it doesn't belong to you. You have no moral. So when we talk of agents, they are very tired, and it's, it's a nonsensical kind of item in our elections. Um, and you've put it very correctly. Some of these are thieves. They go there to be bought. Some of us have very hands-on hands -on experience. The agent business is garbage. What we should be going for is if we are not able to vote and count our votes well, then let's forget about elections. And that is what Baba has said. You know, the journey here is to determine two things. Should we hold elections and pretend that we have democracy? You know, or should we leave cartels and thieves to run and manage the affairs of, uh, of our continent. Simple as that. To watch a theory is a shule. We are not in a classroom here at the oh, you know. The Kenya elections cannot work as of, as, we, as of today. We are not able to hold elections, period. Sasa to watch a fundi mingi at the oh, nina nini. We are thieves and it's cartels. And this is too loud. For us to even start uh, scrutinizing Sijui Nini. Number two, oh, there were no, there are no demonstrations in Central. This is another tired one. Okay, when you go to, for labor movement, for example, I want to use this example. When you go to labor organizations, 
And I want people to go back and be realistic. In labor organizations, you know what happens in labor organizations. How many, which people do you find there? Majority, for every 10 people. Which people, from which region? And I like us to call a spade a spade. How many people, do, in every 10 people in a, in a labor movement, what are, the, what are the proportions? Do your homework. What I'm coming at is we have in human beings, we have people who are more human than others in terms of, you know, empathy and that. There are people who don't care about others. There are people who we call selfish. They drive their selfish agenda. Somebody who will tell you, for me, I can't close my kiosk to go and kufanya ujinga ya kuenda kwa barabara. That we know. We are Kenyans and we pretend we are not Kenyans. Yeah? In Kenya, we have people who decide that whatever this other person is doing, ni ufala, miss wezi fanya hiyo. There are people who say, Mimi, I'm not interested in siyasa. In Kenya, and yet they, are, they, 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 they want leaders to serve them. We have those categories of people. When you try to tell him, wana kuna campaign meeting pale, Mzalendo na Stone PK, wana Shindana, they are coming to, to talk to you voters. There are some people, wala watazama chana yo ujinga ya Stone PK na Mzalendo. Wacha wa, wa. Then, you wanaka nyumbani, and they will be the first one to start saying we are not having these services. We have that category of people. Okay? So basically what we are saying, if we have correct systems, can we have systems work such that when I'm contesting a stone PK, I don't need to look for agents. Why are we going computers? We print papers from Sijui all over the world. We're putting watermarks and all that. Those protection to Nawekas are nini. Why are we wasting that money? Yeah, to answer, to come to my question, when you talk of people in labor movement, those are people who care about others. People who think, wanaenda kujali masilai ya wengine, in Kiswahili tunasema ipo, ni watu wenye kujali masilai ya wengine. So now when you tell me, oh, Mzalendo claims that, oh, there were no Sijui governors, there were no this, that. This is a people movement. And if you read the, the script, they don't care about those leaders. Those leaders are betrayers. They are tumbo. People ni matumbo yao. Na matnini ndi wanajaza. They are there to eat. Na wa Kenya wamechoka. They have nothing to do with leaders. Whether you come to the meeting as a governor or whatever, Kenyans don't care. And I want you people to play that clip and you see the body language ya wa Kenya. This revolution, this movement is being led by Kenyans. Hata Raila alikuwa ameambua kiongea baya na kisikia mechoka. Aende, apu muzike. Wa Kenya, waende, wakachukue uongozi yao. That is, that is home. I don't know why UDA can't pick that. And then UDA telling us constitution. Constitution story is nonsense. You've already mumedish mume You don't believe in constitution. Don't lie to people. Ruto doesn't believe in that constitution. He's using it as a dummy. He's a devil. He's evil. You can't believe in constitution when you release all the thieves and you give them madaraka kutawala nchi. Wa Kenya tusidanganyo na kupumbazo hapa. Ati o constitution, the constitution states. I asked if two wrongs are there and how do you correct them? Nobody is answering me. I expected you dear people to post it here. They can't. They have no brains to think because they are thieves. They are preoccupied with the stealing. They are talking about constitution that they have violated 100%. Total, 100%. Then somebody, ni kama shetani kusimama na biblia na anza kuambia verse, Mark 10, sijui na sema hivi. How do you expect Ruto to tell you about constitution? Which one? And uh, in fact, I wish I was... Uh, uh, you know, but I'll, I'll soon be there. I want us to ask very hard questions. Ruto is telling us about which constitution? Constitution that he has violated and appointed uh, corrupt judges, appointed murderers, appointed thieves, and he himself stole elections. Then you tell us agents are not there, they have not. Those forms are there. And we are not telling you what we are doing. We will not tell you. Mutasoma na macho. Yes. You just wait. 
and don't be msitake kujua nini kinaendelea we ngoja mtaona tu you will see what will unfold mimi will enjoy hiyo matunda ya wizi ni kama umeenda kwa nyumba ya, ya, ya stone pk eh, unakula mali yake kama yuko eh, kula tu kula tu siku zako ni 40 na ukipatikana ndio utajua ujui tapigwa mishale ya mahali kidonda yuwezi pona and that is what is happening lastly nisiongee sana kama moderator we are doing this for posterity this and if people listen kama watu wanaelewa kizungu na kiswahili baba aliongea na lugha zote mbili e it's 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 it, it is not ending it is the end of ujinga na ukora na wizi and it means and even they talk if it means this country is ambaratike ikue into pieces it is okay other than pretending we have a country let let's call a speed a speed what we are kunini because tukivunika hiyo kidonda kimeoza kitanuka tu the rot will smell usa itatoka so watu tuambiane ukweli na tumekubali na watu wamesema hiki kidonda kikwaguriwe kimwagiwe GV kitauma muda kidogo kitatoa damu lakini kitoe damu fresh ndio kianze ku, 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 ku heal. that is where we are the rapture is on don't be modest guru usitumie diplomacy hapa kaunikire ni kaunikire na tutio vaga muniku hii kwisha maneno hii hata nimeambia mato tuache ati oh kubembele hakuna kubembelezana hapa kametamba kametamba it is it is either we make it or we don't make it period hata ukienda vita na nimeambia watu this war i know there are people who are seated in their comfort eh oh unaongea kwa church unasema at style yao ni ile ile watajua hawajui they will know they don't know guru yes you want to say something unajua one of the most interesting things in this uh, things unfolding right now is that the church is caught up right at the mintro and because this is there let, let me disintegrate a bit i think this is a more of an evangelical government than any other in in the kenyan uh, history and um, i even heard the pastors saying they should be visiting the state house very soon they have been pressurizing for a for a meeting with the state house uh, apparently because there is an mou that they had written with the with the with the, with the nabi that uh, they get some privileges from the government one of them being that they be around to import uh, vehicles uh, tax free they be appointed to government uh, uh, parastatos and uh, departments uh, they are the religious uh, body be declared an essential service and and many other things now there is something is something that is not only going to leave the church completely destroyed as we know it because what is happening right now is not godly and people cannot relate with it our youths are not stupid they know when you are doing business and when you are uh, doing a church so i might be overstepping my uh, prediction but uh, i think the death of the evangelicals in kenya could be coming faster than you think or than many people think because they are going to be associated with whatever filth whatever dirt that is this government is perpetrating in kenya the suffering that is going on uh stone pk i think somebody said the yasin yesterday he saw the era of 1980s 
and 90s furious purposeful cutting and self driven stone pk tell people here it does not matter how many people will go around raira amoro on dinga let them go to state house but you go to state house carrying your stomach the people once raira knows he has the people the common man he doesn't need the, the, the those who have been surrounding him all his life they can go if they wish they are not the people they are even been put there by the people so this narrative that so and so did not attend the meeting so and so did not attend the meeting that is tie and rhyme it's tie and rhyme because in fact if you if you know what has been developing in kenya utasikia watu wanakisema tunasikiza crowd it is those leaders who come running when they see that the the the, the ship has already started sailing and they don't want to be left uh, by the noah's ark that's what happened or that's what has been happening in kenya in recent uh, political history it's not the readers who read is the people who, who move and then the, the readers for for in place to take advantage most cases unfortunately quite often they have hijacked the, the some of these movements so let people not come here to perpetrate a, a narrative that because so and so did not attend the rally because this region uh, has not organized demonstrations and the rest that uh, it is constrained no not at all in fact if you get the statements of raira yesterday they are very pointed he did not want to reveal the inner details of how he plans to go about this thing and it is going to touch even the whole of africa the elections held in uganda and elsewhere using the same same uh, electronic systems and the same companies foreign companies it is going to be a huge debate in africa that that some political elite can go out there hire certain multinationals and then corrupt to plant leaders in africa that is what it is about it is about nothing else and this is a serious matter it is a very serious matter up to now i have not had anybody come up with contradictory figures or to discount what has been brought forth as what happened in august 2022 what we, what we hear is the, the you, you know whole Jeffrey Smith he works for so and so uh, i mean he's a drunkard I, 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 and so many other funny things but the source of the information was not Jeffrey Smith Jeffrey Smith was just a, a channel the persons who gave him the information are Kenyans who perhaps did not trust other fellow Kenyans that they could bring out this information without being compromised without being intimidated and so on and so forth so it the the bag the 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 cart is already out of the bag and uh, you can see the confusion i heard uh, ruto saying the servers were open now is when they are going to be opened properly under supervision of 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 of, of uh, of uh, non interested parties and an audit done a forensic audit done that's all what kenyans are asking for they are not asking for anything else if it is found that you won fairly so be it but this issue of technology being used to circumvent the rights of the people to determine their leadership i think is coming to an end and if you saw the determination that is there in baba is ready to go the full hawk it is not about him 
is about democracy, not just in Kenya, but in Africa, because we run the risk of having uh, client regimes planted here by foreign powers using uh, technology. That's a problem. That's a problem we are confronted with, and we can't run away from it. It's now become an African problem. We must have an African solution to it. Asante PK. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Banaguru. Uh, let me take this opportunity to welcome uh, Julia Karibu Sana and then uh, Nani Alikwaja Zungumza. Julia, you can say something because Kila Mtu Amezungumza Pani Naendelea. Asante Stone PK, Kenya with Love, Kenya Obioma, Jeremani, Guru, Zalendo, Anon Script, Amengia, Karibu Anon Script. Uh, I just wanted to say a few things. Uh, first and foremost, I want to, to talk about what Mzalendo said about people like what were Western Hawakuwa Kwayo Mkutano. And uh, I mean, he talked about the governors. I don't know. I want to say this that when I always give this example that when Kenyans fought for multi party, all the members of parliament were in Kano. Stone PK, I think those of us who are mature enough, we can remember, there were only two people who are not in Kano, Matiba and Rubia, and then the likes of Jaramogi Odinga. I think everybody else was in Kano. And did that stop uh, the likes of Matiba and the others to fight for multipartism? That did not stop them. So let everybody who wants to go to UDA go. They are free to go. Even those who are here, if you decide tomorrow to change your mind and you go to UDA, and then it took. And then it took. Eh? So I want to say that we don't need we don't need a baggage of people who have not made up their minds what they want. Now, the other thing I think he was talking about agents. Mzalendo, I think you're in the Western world, unless you live in Kenya. And if you live in America, those of you who live in America and you have gone to the polling station, like in Akusel, did you find any agents there at the polling station? Have you ever known who is the name Mamiya Trump, Nanana Mamiya Biden? Ama Nanana Chunga Kura Biden is Biwe, Amaya Trump. Have you ever known? No. In fact, you just go and vote and you go back home. So it means these demo democracies have progressed to an extent that they trust their electoral bodies so that uh, we don't have to send agents. So saying that Azimi was not organized, that we didn't have agents, I, I think that is high level mediocracy, mediocrity. And uh, I think Zalendo, you belong to the school of thought that if somebody steals from you, you also steal from them. And I think I'm not surprised. That is why you are okay defending Victor here. Because for you, stealing and robbing and lying is heroism. Those are the heroes in your life. So we don't need agents for the electoral body to do the right thing. In fact, we just need the electoral body to conduct the elections and we get the results the same day without us going to man them or to police them. And that is what we are looking for. That's what Baba is talking about here. That we're looking for an electoral body that conducts election without being manned or policed by anybody. And that we can trust their word, that what they report is what happened, exactly happened at the polling station. That is what we are looking for. So if you keep, the more you keep telling us here, yeah, you have said that so many times, that Azimio Aiku are organized, at I mean, you want us to go to the polling station with gangs and thugs, gang totting, armed to the tooth with machetes, so that we can man our votes and so that we fight it to the tooth. And that in the case you can say we were um, we were organized. Is that what you want us to do? I also want to say that in the year 2002, uh, it is not that uh, uh, the people who voted for the side that was supporting uh, Kibaki were organized with agents. It is not that they had the right agents to man their voting. In fact, I don't even think people really mind that voting. It is just that for one reason or the other, I think one Moy was not interested in rigging. 
and that is it just happened that the, the election was conducted fairly because i think none of the parties were interested in rigging so it's not that the the people who are supporting kibaki were so organized that they had so many uh had so many agents and organized agents no so I don't belong to that school of thought, and I want Kenyans to get that from that mediocrity. People who keep telling us you not to compare ourselves to the West, we are going to be comparing ourselves to the West because we need to do the right thing. And now that takes me to what Baba said today. I was very impressed. First, I was impressed with the stamina that Baba and Mother had and the likes of Kalonzo Musioka. I was very impressed, and I was happy even to see Wajakoya there. I, I thought Wajakoya represented the, the youth. I mean, the, the youthfulness. Hello. Stone PK, watch and you mute. I'm mute. So I was very impressed to see the people there, but I was impressed more by Baba's speech. It was organized. He, he talked about why, what we were looking for. He said what was our complaint, what we were unhappy with, what we are looking for, and how we're going to go for it. You know, he, he said several things. He, he outlined what we are looking for, what we are unhappy with, and how we're going to do it. Now, and if I listened to Baba carefully, he said he's going to relent when it means going to jail. You know, he, he said even if it means the worst of the very worst. So when I listened to Baba, I, I remembered when Kenyans fought for me. I don't want to talk about independence because I wasn't there. I'll be talking about the books of history. But I think uh, in multipartism, I witnessed everything. I was mature enough. Kenyans did not relent until we were given multi-party. So when I listened to Baba, I listened with a lot of nostalgia. And I thought, this is the moment that Kenyans will not relent until we get where we are get, going for. And you know where we are going for is, is where we have an election. We vote, we go home, and we trust that what we, how we voted is how the results will be announced. Now, what does that call for? That calls for that a leadership like that of a government like that of Ruto cannot be allowed to go on as being the government. And I agree with Baba when he said he doesn't recognize this government. And that Kenyans must not recognize this government. Because this government, the Kenyan government, is illegitimate. And that is where Kenyans need to start. So that never again ever again in Kenya or in Africa, will somebody rig himself in and imagine that he'll get away with it? So this one must just come to a stop with 22 election, 2022 elections, so that never ever again will Guru sit imagining that he rig himself in and he starts yelling and insulting us. The Gashagwa is insulting us. So we, we must stop that so that next time the likes of Gashagwa and others will think very hard before they plan a rigging. And I think after this, we shall also, after this, I'm sure all Kenyans will come up with a formula and electoral laws that will facilitate that somebody like Chebukati should be sued for treason. So that never again will an electoral chairman sit and plan to overturn the election never again in the history of kenya never so something Zalendo must happen i don't know what's going to happen something drastic must happen to teach kenyans a lesson and to teach the rest of africa a lesson so that never ever again you know Ashagwa is insulting raira uh, that uh, I, I, I deal with Mzewa Kitendawiri. Who the H does Gashegwa think he is? And you know what Baba said? Wacha kuniongelesha. Wacha ni, let me just quote Baba. Baba alisema, yambia Gashegwa, atunajita mtoto wa maumau. My father, Jaramogi Odinga, is the one who went to deliver maumau from prison. It is Jaramogi who rescued Kenyatta, the muze. And Jaramogi refused to take power and said that they must wait for Mze. We all we have all read the history. Rakini <laughs> Baba Alisema Kwamba Gashakwa Anajita Mtoto wa Mangmang. Hajajua kupigania inchi ninini. Mala rakini kaziake ni kurambaramba makalio ya moi. Mion diokazi 
amefanya kwa bidii sana kula baramba i'm just quoting what baba said i'm not the one who said kula baramba makalio ya moyo in other words licking the ass of president rich president moy and that is what kashago was doing using the moy government to intimidate people the people of kiambu talk about it we si makalio akusema akusema makalio julia unari i'm just trying to be nice Baba Let me tell them the truth. We come from Mount Kenya region. They do not represent us. I do not belong to the school of mediocrity. And I cannot associate myself with barbaric, mediocre characters like Gashagwa and Dindi Nyoro. Mimi siwezi kabisa, 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 kabisa. Now, finally, I want to wind up. There was a, a young man here who was, who was so mad that some people said that that there were so many votes from Mount Kenya region. Uh, and I think from the way he was talking, it was him from his accent, I can tell he's from Rift Valley. Ati, ati, alikuwa mekasirika sana. Ati baba alisema alipata kura nyingi kwa Mount Kenya region. These people from Rift Valley who come from uh, Ruto side, do they think they own anybody in Mount Kenya region? Why can't they can't accept that there are many people from Mount Kenya region who did not vote for Ruto? And even if we were to go for, for we were to look at Chebukasi's numbers, leave alone the numbers that have been announced now. Baba had over 800,000, I think 900,000 from Mount Kenya region. At the Kama to Kiangarizo numbers of Chebukati. It means Mount Kenya region does not belong to idiots. There are people who are thinking right. So people who are getting mad when somebody says there are people who voted for Baba in Mount Kenya region, they should just swallow. While Meze Wembe wa kikata kate na hiyo wembe kwa maana huo ndio kweli wa mambo kana kwamba kwa jinga pia wameisha Mount Kenya region watu wa Mount Kenya region wote si wa jinga na si wa shenzi they are people who are using their heads properly and who are thinking uprightly and who know the difference between the truth we we are not all of us on na kanisa hii kanisa yenye nguru amesema this this churches that are going to to diminish very soon because of their level of hypocrisy So in some mission, Mr. Tony PK, I was very impressed with Baba's speech. He gave direction and he put the likes of the shower that he does not belong to their class of politics. And uh, I think he, he showed, he gave the country a direction. And the direction I see is that Kenyans are not relenting until the right thing is done until we see a free and fair election where Mzalendo will not come here yapping, telling us we didn't have agents. I believe the next election, Mzalendo will not come telling us, because Mzalendo, we will not need agents. Even Americans don't have agents. We, we, we'll be, we will just go and vote and go home. Come away, unless you've never voted here in America. You go home, you vote. I have never seen anybody asking, to me do a kura, ama to me, to, ama, uli simamia, uli hasabu kura zetu wapo kwa, kwa police station. I have never heard that. People go and vote because they trust their electoral processes. Because these people understand what is the law and order. That is where we want to go to Kenyans. That is our dream. We have a dream and we're going to achieve this dream. And that is why never again, never again, Kenyans must make sure this time that never again, Will someone rig themselves and think they can get away with it? Okay, to a bit song and belly to say how you're your pity, your pity, and there will be no 2027 until we deal with 2022. A luta continua, the struggle continues, and we must overcome. There's no turning back. 
there is no mupende musipende mukubali train isha toka kwa ste, kwa station na gari la moshi limeshika moto there is no turning back for kenyans come i agree with baba come rain come sunshine asante pike Thank you madam Julia you could not have put it any better than that na mimi naongeza kusema sasa ndio mori inapanda mori imepanda na mori imepanda in such a way that eh, ni kunoma that's the best we can say ni kumbaya ni kunoma na it's unbelievable stone uh, picker someone is even commenting here that even well, in the US votes are even sent by post imagine and if people just trust they will be counted can you see that level of transparency that that people just i post my vote i mean they are sent by mail and mimi julia i just trust that my my vote will be counted happened to naenda mzalendo musilete huyo upuzi upuzi wa majambazi ya ya agents sawa sawa julia and Stop uh, muting me man. No uh, let, no 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 no. Let me moderate. Muzalendo I'm giving you time. I know you've been mentioned many times. You are next. You are next. Subiri kidogo. You are next Muzalendo. <laughs> you are next. Muzalendo uh, ni wewe next. You I just needed to correct something. That's I don't want to be next. I just wanted to correct something. Uh Julia in the US uh agents are called poll observers or poll watchers and uh, you you also have to know that in the US the judiciary uh the judiciary assigns assigns agents in almost all the counties to watch the polls of any irregularities that is what you don't know then thank it, you. yeah thank you the judiciary thank you not parties thank you very much mzalendo ujayo na mtu kingangania na chama chake ya cha no 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 let me add a rider on that and political parties are also allowed to appoint watchers and observers but you've never they, seen them behave they want us to behave in kenya Apana, no, they, i mean them. they are civilized i mean the other structures even yes, when you talk, when you, when you yes, talk about right. when, when you talk about the the uh the mails the mail ballots that's a contentious issue republicans don't want it because they are thinking that it's manipulated so elections are not 100% correct throughout the world there is no election that is perfect throughout the world mention point for taken. me just point one taken. point taken mzalendo uh, let's there are many people and for me i believe in perfectionism i i believe in targeting perfection then you land somewhere we can say and that's why i keep on asking other panelists do two wrongs two wrongs don't make a right how do you correct them if two wrongs don't make a right so if there is no perfection does it mean kenya cannot that kenya 60 years down the line we started the race with korea they have everything perfect that kenya could not have been on the same panel with perfect it's because of idiots like ruto when you steal election and you have no clue that's why we will never move when we have people insisting ruto won elections we can't go anywhere thank you let me guru you addressed your hand then mato uh, yeah. then, yes yes i want um mzarendo the issue of uh, agents i would want you to understand even when you bring the american example in our context it's like there are people who have ingrained in their minds that uh, for you to get a fair results the true results you must post your 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 your, your agents in every station then what is the role of the ibc why do they conduct elections what is their role so i think it, the the issue is not even the observer the observer you know duty it is about the concept that concept that for you to get fair treatment 
like Voraira in Central or uh, Ruto in uh, Nyanza, you must post your agents in every of those stations. It is wrong. It, it is a bad thing. In fact, I think if I were to propose, we should do away with the agents completely. Let IBC take accountability for for the erections that come from every station because I've pointed here and maybe I'll be born uh, truth by those who have experienced it that uh, their agents posted by political party and candidates to go and circumvent the systems right inside the station by misdirecting some of the voters by tampering with the documents, by using all kind of shenanigans to by get the results. By bribing so, returning officers. All those things. Do we need these people? Are they not a burden? Can't the IEBC do its work? And then we take account, they take a, accountability. We are able to pin them down for what they have done or not done. That is the the big question we have here. Thank you, Guru Mato. You, you raised your hand. Kenya with love. Eh, me, I don't know who Mato is. But anyways, <clears throat> Guru is the one that actually brought me back here. I I I have a couple of uh just the reason i raised my hand is because Guru, thank you so much uh there's something that you say that Raila was listening to the crowd and it, it, it it's something as somebody who's done psychology kidogo i could watch that normally when Raila is talking to the crowd he says vijana hoy when the crowd is starting to look kind of feisty or changing its mood but this time he was letting them because he was looking at them and asking them what do you want me to do that's what he was asking he was asking what to he wanted to see and that's what you were saying that's what actually because you brought up that uh that observation and to me when i watched that whole thing was Raila was letting the people talk to him not him talk to you know to them and another point i wanted to say moi never rigged any election moi used to fund parties small parties to this to to divide that was a divided rule he never used to go and rig 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 like openly like ruto is doing even if he did you wouldn't even find it because he had small parties that he could go find it. The last one that I want to say, the reason I lifted my hand, I'll, I'll talk later. Uh, Mr. Mzalendo, please, I'd like you to stop lying to people because there's nothing called like poll watchers in the US. There's poll my watchers. Friend. Nah, yep. ah, hold on, Daddy. Jesus, Jesus. Ah, come on, man. Uh, uh, Stone. There's nothing uh, called. Guys, Matt, uh, Kenyan with the lab. I think let's not. Uh, yeah, let people give time. Zalendo, I'll give you. You rebut because you are mentioned. So let let Kenyan with the lab. Whatever he has touched you, so you 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 rebut. Go on, Kenyan with the lab. There's nothing called poll watchers. The only thing that we are um to a cop, if even Julia will tell you, poll watchers came with this uh this uh QAnon and uh Republican thing that they were trying to do. And that's why that it's even in the in the in the Supreme Court, they are fighting and they fought that and they won about we cannot have poll watchers. What we have is poll workers. Poll workers, not watchers. When they were trying to bring watchers, they were going there with armored vests and guns and everything, and the Supreme Court declared you can never have that. There's nothing called poll watchers. 
is called poll workers, where they show you where you're going to vote, how you need to vote, and once you voted, they are the ones who are going to take your votes and your ballot, wherever it needs to be. It's called poll workers. Poll watchers were the ones that was trying to happen this mid-elections, and they had uh, vests and guns, and he went all the way to the Supreme Court of the United States, and he was considered unconstitutional in the United States. Anyone can tell you that's the truth. So please, let's be factual. Sorry, that's the only reason I raised my hand for that. Stone, I'll come later. But I wanted to clear that because she was trying, uh, Julia was trying to tell him, but he was trying to tell us something. And I don't like people just, I mean, to see Danganyani, let's be true, truthful, because we are educating people. All right. Um, uh, Mato, eh? Paul Watcher, Paul Watchers and observers are the same thing. It's just another name for somebody who is observing the elections. All right? So if you think that uh, uh, poll observers or poll, uh, poll watchers are violent mob of group of people, then you I are... I said workers. Not, workers, not observers or watchers. I, workers. I am, you are in front of your computer there just to find out whether there is somebody called a poll watcher in the U.S., or a poll observer and their roles. And please, when you come back, come and apologize for misinforming the general public. You know, when you don't have information, Yamaza too, to kupatia the right information. I think I think uh, I am done with the issue of poll observers. Uh, Guru, you mentioned something about agents. I think agents agent is in is it's in the it's in the constitution. A presidential candidate must have at least one agent in each and every polling station in Kenya, unless you want to change that law uh, and not have agents. But that is what is in the Election Act, Section 30. I think it's 30, Chapter 1 to 2 or something like that. A presidential agent must, must have. Now, there are other seats that it's written may have, but in a presidential candidate must have at least one agent in each and every polling station. In Kenya, we have got over 46,000 polling stations, 46,000. If you didn't invest in poll uh, in agents, you'd had 280,000 agents in throughout the country. If you didn't invest in agents, the law required you to have. If you relied on IBC to uh, to mon monitor for you your uh, your votes, then uh, unfortunately, maybe they didn't. Maybe they did, but that was the work of the agent to see whether that guy in IBC is doing the right thing. If you're not doing the right thing, you raise an eyebrows. Hey, there's something wrong here. And at the end of the day. That's from 34A. You can get it back to your telling center and say, you know, this is the results that we got. That is the work of your agent. Thank you, thank you, Mzalendo. Thank you, Mzalendo. For me, I think the issue of agent in Pitu and Awakati, let's not waste time on, on, on it. You know, what Peter. we have in hand, what we have in our wherever, it doesn't matter whether agents were there or they were not there. That's the narrative here, Ujinga, the Ujinga party. UDA. That's their tired narrative, and we are not relying on that. With or without agents, the truth has come out. The forms are there. So, why PK. Do Guru. Yes, Guru. P PK, I think uh, <coughs> the issue of agents is uh, it, it, like you have said, is you may pit one What is the role of this agent? And because of the crowded nature of the stations, are these not 
the same people who are perpetrating malpractices inside the the station number 2 why should the political parties invest so much resources to do the same work that the IBC should do? Is this not another way of tempting the political parties to engage in some uh, funny business to get money or even get uh, resources from uh, sources that are not, uh, you know, clean? You know, we must look at the whole electoral process in such a way that IBC bears the final uh, blame should uh, elections not come out as the people express themselves on the in the booth, like it's happening now. With a whistleblower, he's traced the form that was released at the station through the process up to the, the, the tiring center. And what is coming out is the most shocking thing mm -hmm. because some of the, the the forms were intercepted in their way through the electronic systems to the to the tarring centers, and uh, results changed. Some of them were even never uploaded. So what are we doing here? What is the role of agent? It's like uh, employing the, the the these old policemen. Uh, who never took lessons in ICT to go and uh, do anti-fraud in the in the in the banks? These young people, the, these are the twenties and thirties, they are stealing right, left, and centre with the senior police officers who are employed apparently because they have become mostly BDO or OCSs because the issue is knowledge based. It's not uh, how physical you are that you can prevent some of this. So even crimes that are committed in the electoral process need intelligence. And therefore, that physical presence of the agents itself is now uh, outdated, if I may say so. It is totally outdated because the elections will still be stolen anyway even if they are there, you know? So so what is this obsession about uh, candidates having uh, agents and crowding the, the, the electoral process and uh, actually manipulating even some of the photos inside the stations? Shouldn't happen at all. It's something we should have and depend on. Let electoral bodies, let IBC take full responsibility of what happens so that we can jail them. Thank you, Guru. Julia, and then Godfrey Uma. Uh, Stone PK, I want to remind you, Zalendo. You remember you people, the story of the Kiambu story where Kimani Shingwa told another person, I'm in the 2022 elections, when she, he was protesting against the malpractices. And they got away with it. So if I have my agents, Muzalendo, and rigging is going on, and even if I raise eyebrows, and they get away with it. So the thing is, we must just resolve here. If you help rig or malpractice in the in the elections, you should be jailed for treason, period. Kama we ni chairman, kama chebukati, unafungwa for treason. Because that is interfering with the decision of the Kenyans. Kenyans vote and decide Guru is the president, and Zalendo decides Julia is going to be president. That is a coup. That's an electoral coup. And that person should be sent to jail for treason. It should be treasonable. So, that is what they did to Matt Man. I think we should trace that. Because I think in Kiambu, I think I don't know if it's about the governor or something. Uh, Kimani Shungwa, because they believed they had the state in their hands, was very arrogant. Those are the agents you're talking about. Don't compare America and Kenya. In the US, no one will do that. If they're appointed by the court, they observe the law. It doesn't matter. You people you remember the story of Georgia and Trump. So you see, even though that man on the side of Trump, he still did not Trump instructions. So these people, they know what is law and order. 
irrespective of their party affiliations. And that is where we want to take Kenyans, that we should observe law and order, irrespective of our party affiliations. Kama ni Chebukati, ata kama Iowa, UDA, ama wherever, anajua iyo siku, the whole country is depending on him. And if anything goes wrong, the bulk stops at him. He should be jailed for treason. And that is what we need. So, musitu amima na ni agents, asante stone pike ni mamariza. Thank you, thank you, Julie, for clarifying that. It is true. And then, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we, we should not, we should actually clear this mess. As I said, it's deep-rooted. And if we are not able to hold the election, then to say many our total nyara. Okay, yeah, we just say we are a bandit country and uh, we go like that. But the best would be we split into pieces. Kila mtu manage kapis cow. You know, in Mbere, we will do our own county far away from him, far away from Ujinga, Rift Valley. And I think we will do very well. We will be selling all the electricity to everybody else. That is the route we could go if we can't, e electoral justice is not going to come. Geoffrey, Uma, please come in. Who is next? Thank you. Thank you, Tiki. So, sorry, Geoffrey. Next is an, an uh, yes, sorry, sorry, a non script. Yes, no script. <laughs> a non script. Sorry, you know, I'm only seeing the the the, the uso apa ivi. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> a non script. <laughs> uh, any, well, good evening, Stones. You are Stone, the 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 brother of Rock, is it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the Stone, the Rock, actually. <laughs> You are the one who was rejected. You remember? You were rejected. <laughs> and, and you later came for me. <laughs> now, uko, 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 dabo, uko, uko, kwa dabo deka, tu, ni Kenyan, Kenyan, Kenyan tu. Oh, one Kenyan has disappeared. <laughs> Geoffrey, how are you? Guru, Mzalendo. Oh, even Julia is no more, eh? What's, what is not happening? <clears throat> and good, good evening to all of you. I think uh, you know, me, what I want to say is that I want to I want to appreciate technology. <laughs> At this rate, I think technology is a very good thing. Uh, Zalendo was saying that there are no perfect elections. Maybe, maybe, but. Uh, because of technology, for the countries who care, you will always have transparent and verified. Maybe not transparent, but verifiable. You know, that is what has brought us where we are now. The fact that certain things could be verified, thanks to technology. And then, secondly, like I said the other day, you can cheat, 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 but... <laughs> You cannot hide it forever because the owners of the internet will always catch up with you. <laughs> and that is what is happening here. Now, in, in Kenya, our elections, you see, you see, you cannot have elections whereby it, they are de dependent on how well you can cheat, surely. The moment you think you have been managed to cheat all the others, now you think you are the winner. You can how can you win by cheating and you want to be recognized? It, it is it, it is just laughable. You remember how Baba started what saying what he was saying, and that uh, if things go the way I think they are going, it is going to be a lesson to the world. And uh, going forward, I think all these other countries, even Uganda, who have perfected uh, the art of uh, going against the people's will by manipulating so long as anything enters into the internet if it is the truth it will be the truth the same way they say garbage in garbage out if you have whatever you have in there there you cannot corrupt it you cannot corrupt it you can think that you can hide it but there are people who always have access better than you now, if you are one of the players, like, for example, uh, UDA and uh, Azimil in, in the last elections, and you have the likes of IEBC, 
why IBC allowed themselves to be compromised to that extent. Then on the, on the other hand, you want to be prompted as the hero, the hero of everything. Total contradictory. Well, anyway, the Kenyan elections are complex, very, very complex. Never mind that most of us, you go there, line up, and you go, you vote, and everything you think is captured. Now you leave the work to the so called the counters, the people who are counting. As they always say, Kenyan elections, who, the person who matters most is the one who do the counting. No wonder you hear in the beginning, everyone was kept saying that uh, who is going to declare the winner? Now, the winner should be declared by the figures. Now, I think you remember what's happening in places like India. By the time the last person, in fact, when you have voted like this, you can see who is winning. Even if there are some people who are still voting, you can already see who is winning. By the time voting is closed, it's a matter of just checking the verified figures and everybody, everybody agrees. Yeah. It, the, the elections should not depend on the person going to declare the win, surely, for heaven's sake. And I think if, if across the world, people would invest in techno technology, it will be very difficult, very, very difficult for anybody to interfere with the elections. It will be very difficult. Now, in our case here, the people who, who now manage to get us what the information is. Now, one of the requirements, I think the things which was given to the IABC when they were contracting the people to conduct the election, the issue of transparent, accountable, and verif verifiability. The moment our servers could not be opened, that element about verifiability, which was one of the things to be determined by the Supreme Court, how did they deal with it? How did they deal with it? Because it is in the constitution that the elections must be very transparent and verifiable. Now, where, how do you verify them? If you cannot see what is in the server, how are the elections verified? Now, that is why, forgive me for repeating again, uh, your Supreme Court is simply not, not up to task at any task. It, it is just, I don't know how to describe them. Martha Kome, I wonder, I wonder how, if, how she feels wherever she is. Then during the ruling, she went ahead to talk about lack of capacity to audit what was in the servers. Really? And then how do you declare the winner without verifying what the results are? How, do, how, do, how are you satisfied? They should actually be con, 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 contesting what Chebukati had declared. They were verified against what? The origination, where the forms came from, what, that was the best way to verify this. The moment you have an issue with the server, that is why in the 2017, Maraga came up with a sort of ruling that they had, because their hands were tied. You can't verify them. All they had were contradictions from all manner of polling stations, which could not be verified. Which could not be verified. Now, with all these things coming around now, there is a whistleblower this side. Instead of our bishops taking a neutral stand, because this is something which is almost taking the tearing the country apart. And you hear bishops are saying what? At elections are now over. Let's move on. Move on to where? If the so-called people who are in charge are being accused of having stealing, having stolen it. If they had stolen it, so how do you move on? It is it is very 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 contradictory. And I I, I did know I just I've just remembered that uh, before the elections the Baba had these whistleblowers. So I the, the real whistle which they were using I don't know they were I don't, I'm not, don't remember exactly what they were using the whistle for. They were supposed to be used to go to wake up people to go and vote. But looks like uh, somebody 
one of the fellows in IBC carried their whistle to the office. <laughs> Now, anyway, I, I watched Baba's uh, speech, and uh, one thing which caught me was that even if he's going to die, he did say that he will not rest until they get to what they are looking for. The truth be told, even if he's going to die at his age. And I think he promised Kenyans that there will be no elections in 2027 if this matter is not sorted out. An early warning of sorts. Eh? Hmm? I want to stop there. Thank you. Oh, so, sorry. For, forgive me. I, I wanted to mention something regarding the results which came from that investigation. Because, uh, interestingly, according to that, those figures, the reason why personally now I'm so concerned about verifying what is in, in the server the fact that, uh, according to these figures, they're saying that in Kirinyaga, Baba was the winner. In Nyeri, Baba was the winner. Kiambu, Baba was the winner. And like Ipia, they were like 50-50. Uh, that, that according to those, those whistleblower uh, information, that is what you get. And I remember Baba saying that he had more than 2 million votes from Mount Kenya according to those figures. Hence, we are getting more and more interested to see what exactly is in the servers. Mm -hmm. I do not know whether we have to march there and go and grab the servers ourselves. Personally, I'm very, very interested to see what is in those servers. Thank you. Uh, thank you, unknown scripts. Uh, in my opinion, before I bring in Geoffrey, Geoffrey, uh, just a 30 seconds, I want to, there is this again obsession about the server, unknown scripts. The president today told you to Usahao Yu Maneno, uh, tells you the kind of crooked, he told people in church that Munapiga Mudomo Mukisema Sava Sava. Chebugati alifungua Sava. And look at how idiotic he is. Alisema Sava ilifungulua because uh, the, from 34A ziliweko kwa poto. That's the garbage we have from Mr. Ruto's head. He said it in front of Kenyans. It's so annoying that anybody you with a calvost of that. A sitting president can say something like that. That's what he said. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I can play that clip. He said muna piga nye 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 apa. That's the president, doctor. In fact, Kenya should blow this guy off. No mercy to write this kind of an idiot. Nishetani kabisa. So when you say Zava Zava and the president, the rig, the muizi, I said it was already. There are no servers anyway. This guy cannot keep servers because he will be, he will be, he, he, I mean, he will not face it. He stole election. It is simple. He knows what he did. So I don't think there is any server but a, a non script. Unless... But as, as I said, it's stone. Internet, you, 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 there's nothing you can do about it. We are all prisoners. Once you put anything in there. <laughs> yeah, then you go hunting wild goose chase in the internet. But Ruto has destroyed anything you may call server. That is for sure. If he tells you to go to the portal, that's where the server is, my brother. Then you are just uh, <laughs> Geoffrey, take over. Thank you, Sean PK, the Lendos, and non script guru. I greet you guys. On the issue of server, exactly what President said, Nikua, oh, servers were open a long time ago. Akuna Savangina Fungula, Savage Shafungula Kitambo, and look at what was open the portal, the IBC portal that was open. We don't know about Kana Pari and Zinabazu and Magina like in Akaram Camargo. Things that were were changed the results because they were manipulated i want to talk on something on the same script on something you know on the ibc wakatwa na itisha the form that 4a about the, the same president talked about yesterday ibc decided to, in fact not ibc chebukati decided to print from that 4a book 2 which was not the procedure alafu the same book that four book 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 from that four a book two 
was used ambayo haikuwa itumike so now on this portal tunapata kuna zile forms ambazo zilikuwa zimeandikwa za form 34a na zile zimekuwa altered and me i believe that on the ibc ilikuwa na plana katas moja form 34a in case agent ameandika kitu ambayo iko wrong on the same on the same paper and a cross and a sign with his sign na ipigwe picha na kimskit alafu itume how comes from 34a original forms were not were missing on the portal but from 34b and from 34a book 2 were used alafu anakuja anatuambia kuwa server zishafunguliwa hakuna server nyingine ambayo itafunguliwa the president knows what she did the same way strong pick amesema huyu mtu ni mwizi ni mkora na kitu ambacho mimi sema chebukati should be anafaa pelekwe hek tusi 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 west our time tukimpeleka kwa hizi coach za Kenya Kenya ni waizi wa kora ambao wamejaa kwa makochi atapelekwa leo kesho atatoka na atakuwa free hakuna kitu atafanyiwa so i think somebody should push him apelekwe hek awe crucified na huyu pia huyu hui smartmatic pia ipelekwe head at least kule anaweza force wafungue saba kila mtu aone but in Kenya president huru uh, not president huyu Venezuelan president Ruto hakuna kitu atasaidia wa Kenya atafunika kila kitu kwa sababu anajua imeibiwa my submission yesterday it was a very great day kwa to see what was in you or now my question that i was asking now is look at somebody like orengo abswaman somebody like simba arati sai watambia watu nini wakati tayari wakosha endorse huu mwizi kwa endo president wanaenda kufanya naye kazi sai watambia watu nini so i think right is this is the right time now for raila kujipanga vizuri with his team because kwa ile ile podium i saw few people ambao walikuwa na na ile mori ya ku push for this thing somebody like wamalwa i saw his body language huyo ni mtu ambaye anaweza kusaidia ku push somebody like babu wino i saw the body language huyo ni mtu ambaye pia anaweza kusaidia i saw mata karua alikuwa ni mtu ambaye anako strong anaweza ku push kitu but when i looked at uh, kalonzo oje kalonzo kwa ni watermelon ni mtu ambaye huwezi jua yuko wapi yuko wapi hakuwa na ile kuonyesha kwa let's go mtu ambaye anaweza sema tumpush twende no so i think the people ambao walikuwa pale au ndio watu ambao tunafaa tufuate sasa tuseme kama ni kwenda kwa sababu shatoa direction with raila now it's time to go amesema next week on sunday tutakana na meeting to push kwa sababu unajua tukisema tunaenda kwa state house obviously watu wengi watakufa na hatutaki watu wakufe but now we did push obvious kuna watu ambao wataumia on the way si wote lakini kuna watu wachache ambao wataumia but sasa hatuwezi simama kwa sababu watu wataumia tuache kupush on our own we we'll fight for our victory we need to push twende na twende atuambie sasa next week nini tunafaa tufanye sasa kama ni kumtoa tumtoe kwa nguvu kwa sababu tuwezi sema tutakaa mpaka 2017 yani 2027 2027 na kuna election hii venalifanya hivi ndio atafanya tu next time tukingoja tukingoja for reforms no reforms zitafanywa kwa koti zetu no reforms zitafanywa kwa parliament zetu kwa sababu huu mtu ame capture the whole parliament tumebaki na watu wachache sana look at yesterday our baba anakuja kutupatia direction somebody ambaye alipata seat yake just on the masses of azimio mtu kama chege anaenda kwa state house kuongea na president na huyu huyu mwizi huyu ruto na huyu ni mtu ambaye hakuchaguliwa with the masses of i of azimio akapewa kiti kwa parliament anafaa angekuwa pale kwa kwa uwanja ngojea baba kuja kupatia direction tayari shakimbia na kina kanini kega wameenda kwa kwa huyu mkora wanaenda kumsikia sijui kwa nenda kumsikia nini so sai i think i saw ojakoyo ojo ojakoyo alikuwa na hyper sana mpaka hata akupea na ile confidence yake alikuwa na hyper sana mpaka hata akashindwa kuongea but i think ojakoyo kuna watu wake ambao anampenda waingiane sasa na baba kabisa they push for what we used to do you know the time we were with the um kora huyu anaitwanga ni miguna miguna ugwe miguna miguna kuna conference kwa anakuwa nayo wakati kwa na push for anrm kuna vitu ambao walitwambia tusinunue vitu kama brookside vitu kama kuna vitu vingi ambavyo tulikuwa tusinunua na tukununua sasa this is the time we need to push for those things kama ni economy kwa ribika ya ribika economy kabisa lakini mpaka mtu atoke tusikae ati kuna ngoja tunabembeleza anything hakuna kitu kubembeleza zaidi sasa hii ni kupush kwenda kwenda Thank you thank you Geoffrey uh, you see Geoffrey uh, what we were having pale kwa meeting we didn't care you know message ilikuwa ni moja tu kutamba katambe whether Nadia ameongea hivi yani the message is home 
and the Ruto is going, we, and we are using every means. I said we are using every means. Take that to any bank. Every many, every means, whatever it takes, Ruto must go. That is it. You may want to quote constitution, you may want to quote whatever you want to quote, but Ruto is going in whichever way. And he may go in a very bad way. That you can take to the bank. bank yoyote. Ingawa bank zitakuwa zimekwisha. And uh, whoever is feeling agitated because of uh, whatever Stone PK is saying that, please, you can hang yourself if you feel like, but that is my opinion and that's what most people are feeling. That's why you, what you saw in Kamukunji, you can sit there saying constitution, constitu I've said, if the, the so-called Ruto has destroyed and defied the constitution, what constitution are you uh, giving us? We will go unconstitutional way. Because you've gone, you've destroyed the constitution. To suspend your constitution, okay? And then we will reinstate it when we feel like, as the people. And we are not calling what Wajinga developed your UDA party to come with us. Please don't. Yeah? yeah? And we know the collateral damage. That's no problem. It's going to happen. It will end. It will end. It will end. Nasim Chezo. It imeanza na sim chezo. So, so, wacha tu wacha kutsema ati, oh, nina, 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 nini. That is how it's gonna be. And whatever time it will take, it's imeanza na ita move. But we are not looking and we don't care about Akina Sabina Chege and all. Those are non-entities, non, non you know. Wanatafuta chakula. And we know people who feel wale uskia nja haraka. We know very well. In that country, we know. We know traitors. We know wale watu... Sikumbili akiwa ajakula, eh, ataenda kubeg. And we know people who have pride, people who really fight for others, people who really fight for social democracy, people who cannot fill their stomachs before the neighbor is eating. We know that. And that is the kind of team we have on the other side. Watu wanjaa tunawajua. Watu wa matumbo kubwa tunawajua. You know? Oh, unakaa. Hata, hata mwaka ijaisha umeanza kuenda kubeg. And you are begging to somebody you are talking on the platform. And the stupid adage of that they are no permanent enemies. They are permanent enemies. You steal my wife. You steal my goat. You are permanently my enemy. If I don't cut, cut your neck, you'll be lucky. And that is what is going to happen. This thing has to happen. 60 years old, Iyo Ujinga inaisha Kenya. As I said, and it was indicated in Kamkunji, it's not my words. Watu wamesema afadhali Kenya isambaratike kwa sababu haifai. Wacha sugoi wakue na Kenya yao na wale wengine. In that rallying call, we are telling people, if you don't believe in Ruto, don't even hang his, 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 his photo. And Kenyans are going to do that. Don't even recognize him. Let him be recognized by his wife and his sugoi people. Simple as that. And you can't force people. It is simple. You can be in that country and you don't recognize Ruto at all. Then we are not going to pay taxes. Simple as that. Utadu, we are going to defy. Na ule mtu ambaye ajui the power of the people ni watu wa 1990s who don't know what people can do. I heard people saying, nani elko anzema Ruto ati ya, nani Moy was not rigging election. Ah, that was my brother, Kenya no. Kenya, Kenya with the love is because maybe under your history, Moy was number one rigger. If there is such an English word, ni muizi number one, muizi mukubwa, muizi wakura ile ya japo. Alileta mbaka mulolongo where you have the longest queue becoming the shortest. I mean, that's why I want our young people to read history. Mu in the alianza, maneno ya rig in Kenya. Of course, Kenyatta mzee pia likuwa na rig because he would say, uh, if he likes uh, Stone PK, he comes to your constituency, he says, Ata msipo pigia Stone PK, kura yangu na mamangina itamuleta state out. So, I mean, itamuleta bunge. He used to say that for that, for, for you know, for those who don't know. So rigging is historical. And that's why for it to be uprooted, kutakuwa na bloodshed. If not bloodshed, kutakuwa na collateral damage. Because ni kama kumoa, ile, ile inaitangwa wisdom teeth, if it's rotten. You have to be sedated. You have to really be properly taken care of. Nichungu. Nichungu. Because it's either the country survives after 60 years or it, is dis it, it, it disintegrates. There are only two options. And 
most likely we will not allow it to disintegrate just because we have thieves claiming to be leaders and going and whatever. Lastly, before I bring somebody in, we are talking about the church. The church is finished in Kenya. Period. Kwisha. You know, wameingia mlango mbaya. The moment you do the multitude to have to de, to have nene to, to to be negative about it, to have a negative opinion about it. How will you rebuild confidence of Mwananchi? You will not because our churches they are the same like na kina Sabina Cheges. Quit exactly the same. Matumbo yao. Oh, we want gari. We want to import this. What does that? What has that to do with Mwananchi? Nothing. So what Kenyans are going to do? They reject them. By the way, you don't need them to go to heaven. You don't need the bishops at all. You don't need the pastors at all as an individual. You don't need anybody to kuwekea daraja kwenda kwa Yesu ama kwa Mungu. Kenyans rebel. Forget, dump them. Even the iso mangu ni upuzi mtupu. They are useless people. They can't help you in anything. They can't. They have put this country to where it is. And they are still condoning that. Wamekua mashetani. Hakuna madhabahu tena Kenya. It's finished. They are thieves. They are thugs. They are evil in those churches. And, and the script, you want to say something? And then Ouma. Okay. What, what I would like to point out is that... Uh... Uh, politics, the so-called normal politics, is is changing, and certain things should not be taken at face value. Now, I would uh, invite Ouma to try and find out why the Nyanza trips took place before you come to those conclusions about the Simba Ratis. I don't know whether you you are understanding what I'm saying. There are certain scripts why those trips were taking place. There is a very big, bigger strip involving Nyanza and Western. So don't see some certain things on face value. <laughs> yeah. you, you are aware of the word called infiltration. Huh? I'm just trying to mention a few things in parables. Uh, just to add something on what Stone was talking about about our bishops, it is it is it is it is it is very 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 sad. You see, from what I know, pastors, bishops, and whoever they are, that category, these Christian leaders, they are supposed to not to to go out for let's say like and that they invest or they what they are supposed to eat from the little that uh, worshippers donate to them to survive. That is how genuine bishops survive. You get the situation whereby, you remember the other one, when Kitui, the one who was being given CG 6 million uh, car in Kitui, the president, Ruto was giving a car. And yet the, the, the worshippers in that church, there were several dead from life, high cost of life, in the same same place, the same same congregation, there were prayers for people who had died because of hardships, and the Angamias, I think, had also been attacked. Eh? Instead of donating this to help the people, the real needy, who are even mourning, he went out of his way to donate six million. To a bishop, I don't know whether you remember earlier, earlier uh, after, after when when he visited Kitui, I think it was in December. Was it in December? Yes. Now that is that is how how low our, our bishops have fallen. I don't know. Salvation will come from where. Thank you. Hey, uh, don't be gay. I'm an Ethiopian. Geoffrey um, and then Mzalendo. Okay. As, I'm not it. You know, there's something called legitimacy. Look at what Orengo said when the president was in, in, in Nyanza. He said, President, in fact, he was doing this. President Chagua, 
chagua watu wengi sana hapa unahitaji watu wengi sana hapa sasa uchague hapa you know okay just let's talk truth here mimi najua mtu ni mwizi na nimeenda nimwambia watu huyu mtu si mwizi wacha tufanye naye kazi hao watu alafu baadaye nikuja nimwambia ai hapana hapana huyu mtu ni mwizi watanichukua vipi wataona kama is a double standard on my side unaona so it was a mistake for these people to act the way they acted hata kama alikuwa ata kufanya kufanya kazi na huyu mtu mwizi hawange kuja openly kutoa their views hapa ni mpaka mtu anasimama anasema huyu ndo president wetu hatujai pata mtu amechaguliwa hapa hapa central sasa president tunapatia hii time chagua watu wengi sana wafanye na wewe kazi those are wrong statements alafu raila mbe pia akakuja akaongezea kwa ni mimi niliwaambia wafanye nao kazi that was a wrong because raila knew kuna john anakuja kupeana his report raila ange keep quiet unaona alafu akangoja pre huyu john akaongea then a hit sasa sasa hii raila amehit na amekuja strong kabisa amekuja amesema yeye hata haogopi okay we need that leader i need that amba haogopi atishwi kwa sababu na nokana mtisha sana those vice president huyu regardi wamemtisha sana so we need somebody ambaye atakuja aseme open ilikuwa huu mtu sisi hatumtishi huu mtu alikuwa na namba matako ya mtu fulani hivyo ndivyo tulikuwa nataka ndio sasa tujue kweli jamaa ameshaamua tunaenda tunaenda si mambo unakuja tuambie kwa tufanye kazi na huyu alafu baadaye tunakuja tuambie hiyo that is a double standard so there's something i want to talk about when i raise the issue of chege you know we have a young guy here in kilifi a die heart of raila odinga mbona tungechukua kijana kama huyo mtu ambaye hezi 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 tingizika tumpatie kiti tukaenda kwa watu kama kina chege kina kanini kega watu ambao wanaenda kutusaliti you have some young people ambao walikuwa naweza simama na Raila na mpaka sasa hivi hata walinyimwa lakini mpaka sasa hivi bado they are still with Raila ambao Odinga hao wengine washapata lakini wameshatuacha so to raise the issue of chege it was a mistake we need Raila to take people closer to him the inner circle wawe ni watu ambao wako strong watu ambao wanaweza simama naye kama kina babu winu si watu ambao wanakuja kutuchezea kushapata vitu wanatoroka na tuacha we need people who can fight for us So this is the right time for people to write to simama kusimame na twende for our own victory but hatutahitaji mtu kama urengo urengo atakuja atuambia nini sahi sahi wacha kina wajakoya wajipange sasa watuambie twende vipi uh, thank you uh, what mzalendo i'm the one moderating bro uh, i'm giving I thought, you i thought ulishani ambia ni next uh, yeah but uh, Okay, I see you have something burning. I'll 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 comment after you. Go ahead. Um George uh, jo, uh, Godfrey Godfrey Ouma. I like the way you shoot. Unasema ukweli. Na ni ukweli mtupu. Raila legitimized Ruto's presidency before it left for South Africa. Na akaambia magavanas wake wafanye na serikali. Yeah. Na I ask the same same question. Mbona wale jama including his uh, close ally like Orengo hawakuwa kwa hii mkutano ya kamkunji. Mbona hawakuwa huko? And this is this was the grand uh, it was nini grand uh, welcome ya baba from South Africa hoping that atasema kitu kingine tofauti but hakuna uh, kitu yote baba alisema ile atujui mambo ya kura kuibiwa that one we know mambo ya whistle blow that one we know mambo ya uchumi that one we know there's nothing different and uh, to me uh, when baba was sworn in i thought it was going to be bigger than the swearing in ya baba uh, urupak But he, ya hapa ya jana that was nothing that was just uh, a drop in the ocean those baba was at his best because now is now the official the, the opposition leader that is where he, he is best at when he was with uru he was in government you could not see the real baba but now baba was in the opposition where he normally fights for the people but when he had joined uru's government you could not see the fire in baba but yesterday people started like stony pk said yes that is the baba that we used to know yes that is the baba that you used to know is it now in familiar grounds where this movement is taking you where that train is taking you it just uh, maybe we'll get uh, some reforms maybe not maybe you will some people will die and stony pk you said something here very very controversial 
that in labor movement, which, are, which, which tribe do you normally see in labor movement? Of course, it is the Luo. Which tribe do you see dying in this movement? It's, of course, it's the Luo. I did not and say that. Don't misquote me, Mzalendo. I, uh, I, am no. just, I am just telling you. It's yours. Please, don't no. quote me. You, you I say. I will not allow this. No, 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 no. All right, let, let me let withdraw me just that, please. let me let me withdraw and say you let me paraphrase. You said in each and the labor movement, you when you see a labor movement, there is a particular tribe that you see, and you didn't mention. I said the region again. There's a particular region that you yes. see, yes. and that region is called the Nyanza, it's and that region you. is that's not. Yeah, me. it is up to me. Let me just let me conclude. <laughs> that region is called Nyanza predominantly Luo. If you see doctors, lecturers striking, the Luo community uh, bear the heaviest burden. If you see people dying in the streets because of gunshots and all that, or because of riots, the Luo community bears the heaviest burden. Now, since Baba was voted overwhelmingly with, uh, with the rest of Kenyans, we Luos have taken a back seat. We have rioted for so long. We have been killed with a lot of injustices. Even when Baba had the opportunity to give the Luo community justice when they deserved, they got nothing. Even the Luos who were displaced in Naivasha during the clashes, they were never compensated by Uru's government. We got nothing by uh, Kibaki's government. Yet the people who are displaced in Rift Valley, the Kikuis, who are given land and compensated, these laws have suffered enough in the name of Raila Odinga. In the name of Raila Odinga. And the silent, the silent voice, voices of leaders in Nyanza is telling you a story that you will hear it very, very soon, that we are not part of this movement. You can run away with it, just run to... After your training, you can watch and then it will now. And then now, back of Mwende. But story PK for any revolution to happen in Kenya, you have to involve the middle class. There is no revolution throughout the world that you that you will not involve the middle class. Kenya is a society whereby you explained it so well. Kuna watu wana kuambia to end the mandamana and be a yoni story up your story PK, mean and a job. If the middle class are not going to be involved in politics or in the demonstration, then you are, and you come here with a few with uh, with people from the slums and organize this kind of demonstration, they are not going to succeed because most of the time, most of the time, those people are mobilized. Most of the time, they are mobilized and they are paid. And how long are you going to sustain that? Only God knows. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Mzalendo. Thank you. That is according to Mzalendo. He thinks there is no middle class, but where Subiri, you are looking for information. Just sit back and wait. And for records, I never talked about Luos being in all that. That is again Mzalendo. So it's not Stone PK. Uh, it is his own making. As usual, UDA style. They pick things and then they, they tune them and turn them into their own, uh, to meet their own goal. So, Mzalendo, you wait for the middle class to come, you will see them. Um, you can dream like you are dreaming with your Ruto and the rest. It's okay. We are not here to argue. Uh, the thing is on. If you think it's not going to be, that's your own feeling. And, uh, yeah, we just want to correct that uh, this revolution is for everybody. And you don't have to come to demonstrate. You're, there are many ways of doing things. So, People will not be cowed. People will not be cowed. Lastly, before I bring in a known script, we and Geoffrey, we should not uh, think about uh, uh, you know Orengo saying what he said and all that. Some of these guys are getting senile, and as I say, they are they are old. People are getting old, you know. And also there is a gimmick. Ukita kuchinja kuku unachupia maindi until it comes you slaughter it we are going to slaughter ruto in very many stylistic way he didn't see this coming anasema tuo watu wa kitenda wili atajua ajui i'm telling you this the, 
I know akina mzalendo wametumwa huku ku investigate the strategy and all that. We are not telling you anything. We are just telling you that the, the bomb is coming and it's going to be bloody. That that I'm, I'm 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 free to tell you. It's going to be bloody. So it will not be oh and all that. And it's going to involve even the church. The church will also have it very rough and very bad. Okay? And as I say, you cannot say that it is that it is the uh, the slum people who are mobilized. It is the pain that is bringing them there. There's nothing like mobilization. Nothing. Mobilization is for campaign rallies. And let's see. Let's see as we move on. Uh, a non script say something and then check them down. Uh, th th thank you. I, I just wanted to say that uh, sometimes even when you come together in a forum like this, not all of us know understand things the same way. You see, you see, uh, like I'll just point out to Mzalendo and uh, Ouma. You see, this idea about the whistleblowers and all that. When do you think it started? Long time ago. And and uh, you, you see the, the the mere fact that uh, Baba had said the president should be welcomed. You see, as far as Mzalendo is concerned, that he welcomed, he gave legitimacy. You can just can say that if you want. But the truth of the matter is, in maths, there is algebra and linear. If you are just seeing things in a linear format, it's all up to you. Algebras are more complicated. And that's why I told you, Geoffrey, in the beginning, don't take things on face value. It is not a linear equation. Oh, no. The truth of the matter, you know very well. Baba knew all these things he's talking about. He told people at Atoboa, Kitambo. Yet before he went to South Africa, he told these people, the president is coming. Panyinikazi. Doesn't that ring a bell somewhere for anybody who wants to think deeper? Thank you. Uh... Uh, thank you, unknown script. Nilisema, hapo mwanzo, before you came, mwanzo kule nilisema, kuna watu ni kama kuchezea kupigia mbuzi gita. UDA ni kama kupigia mbuzi gita. <laughs> Explain gita na mbuzi unataka icheze mziki. That is UDA. Wote kutoka ruto kwenda mbaka chini. Their brain ime, ina utanda wa yellow, rangi ya majano ambayo zimefunikwa. They are thinking very cheaply, in very reverse. They think all this is drama. Eh? You hear Mzalendo talking about opposition, at the Baba Ako opposition, where he keeps on quoting constitution, uh, which constitution talks about opposition. You know, they don't know what they are saying. I don't think we have anything in our constitution called opposition. Oh, nothing, like, nothing at all. There's nothing. nothing. Really. That tells you how cheap they are. They can't think. You dear people, they can't think at all. Eh? He made it very clear. He, he's not interested. He called it, he called it taka taka nonsense. Then you, but, you, you keep on saying, oh, opposition, oh, opposition. And all but that. in any case, Stone, before you went to South Africa, you remember it took time to explain how the Kenyan constitution was made and how governors should relate with the national government. It took a lot of time, almost five minutes, to explain that, to tell the Wangas the president. What you, should, what you should know is that he knew, he knew, he knew the whistleblowing was going on. Okay. They take that as legitimacy. You know, you, you can imagine that... <laughs> the gospel according to Mzalendo. Yes. At legitimacy. Chaka, come it's your time. Bro, Chaka. And, and I think as Chaka contributes, we are supposed to do a round now so that we we may call it a, a day. Chaka. Oh, san sana andugu pike. Na kwanza pokea salamu zangu za rambirambi kwa kumpoteza mpendwa wako. Alafu. Mpendwa pia ni chakumendu yangu wapo mkuu um, wapo mzalendo. Uh, Kuna ndugu yangu vile vile pia mkuu hapo. 
kuna mzee wetu hapo guru na jofri ah hapa pata hapo tutaanzia kusema hapa pata hapo kwa sababu maneno ya lozungumzwa jana hayakuwa tu maneno tu bali lilikuwa neno na dharau na kejeli ambazo ziliweza kuwa kuwajaa haswa wa kuona kwamba zilizoweza kuwajaa haswa uh, ruto na 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 na, 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 na yake hapo gashagwa kwamba plan zao zileza zikafika na zikatimia kwa hivyo wako kwenye serikali na hakuna mwingine anaweza watingisha na hawana wasiwasi zilifika mwisho jana zinawapa kiwewe na naamini zinawapa tumbo joto kwa sababu mwananchi ndio mtu wa kuangaliwa kwanza na pindi walipoingia tu katika mamlaka hapo ndio walifail wangekimbia tu kuhakikisha kwamba mwananchi wamemleta karibu basi wameingia kwa mlango wa nyuma wamepita kihalali lakini kile mwananchi alikuwa anategemea ni ile huduma sasa leo mkisema kwamba bei ya unga iko juu kwa sababu waliweza kumaliza kuweka hiyo bei ya unga ni wao walikuwa kwa handshake haitusaidii kama wao waliweka bei ya unga nyingi shukisheni wakisema bei ya stima iko juu kwa sababu kulikuwa na cartels nani handshake ndio waliharibu serikali hilo hali mwingine mwananchi wa kawaida ile ana hisi mwananchi wa kawaida ni kuhakisha kwamba amepata huduma That's why he government me fail. Wao walingangana kwamba tumepata serikali wewe pekee chukua hiki mzalendo chukua hapo simamia hapo chukua hapo kwa sababu serikali ni yetu ndio tumeshuhudia. Kwa hiyo kusema orengo na wale wengine magaba wame 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 wamerudi kwa serikali hapo kaka mzalendo nitapingana na yeye mpaka kesho kutwa. Kwa sababu kila timu ina jinsi yake ya kucheza na siamini urengo aweza badilika kila isiraisi tu wala kumkaribisha njoo nyumbani kwangu haimaanishi wewe ndio nimesimama na wewe naweza kuwa nimekuleta karibu tu ili kukuonyesha jino tu jeupe hapa mbele ya mdomo ujue kwamba nakuchekea ndani ya moyo wangu hujui na ndipo hapo ndugu yangu stone pick hapo anazungumza utazungumza tu haya hapo juu juu lakini hata utaingia ndipo ili tukufanyie shtukizi kama tulivyokufanyia shtukizi jana na mambo bado so hapa kila mtu ni kucheza na mwananchi wewe cheza na mwananchi kumkandamiza mimi sina haja na mamdaka sina haja na madaraka kwa sababu kama ni pesa ninazo lakini nahitaji kuhakikisha Kenya hii dhulma chaguzi dhulma za kala aina zinatokomea ili kusudi kutengeneza njia ambayo viongozi wajao wapate nafasi ya kukaa na kuhisi kwamba haswa tumetengenezwa njia ya usawa na kila mkenya kujisikia kwamba yuko katika hili taifa hilo ndio lengo la Raila kwa sababu kama ni pesa yuko nao kama ni kukaa kwa hisi sasa amekaa lakini sasa yupo kwa sababu wananchi wanamhitaji si yeye kwamba anahitaji ucho madaraka Yeye yeah, anafanya kazi Afrika nzima na cheo kikubwa hata huo mshahara anaopata si wa rais wetu hapa. Na kama ni pesa pesa yuko nayo na kama ni, ni nini? Bado kwa sababu wananchi wana imani kwa yale maneno anayoyafanya. Wana imani kwa vizile haki wanazozipigania. Mzalendo tujisahau. Hapa muharibifu ni mwananchi na mjengaji ni mwananchi. So ukicheza na tumbo ya mwananchi ile kitu nilikizungumzia mapema utakuja kushangaa kwa sababu target hawa jamaa wali target youth hapo nilizungumzia jana hapa 
wakawa wameteka yusu wametiwa maneno na ndipo sakura nyingi aswa za mlima zilikuwa za youth wale wote ambao walikuwa ni watu wazima sidhani hizo sidhani kama waliweza kumpigana nini kura na youth washaanza kugundua kwamba huyu jamaa kweli hasa leo kwa tumwambia huyu jamaa ni muongo na ni mwingi wa propaganda wameliona kwa maana boda boda leo jina boda boda limekufa jina mama mboga limekufa ukicha kuna mapya yanazuka mapya yanazuka tunapanga tulipata eh, serikali haina kitu tulipata hivi watu wingi walawama hakuna so watu wanaegemea pale mahali wanaona kwamba hakika wananchi watapata kupumzishwa mzigo walonao kwa hiyo kukaa hapo kwa madaka sita tizo mwananchi ndio kusema mwananchi ndio kusema wewe cheza tactics zako tumia pesa fanya unachokifanya but mwananchi akisema no huna jinsi na ndio maana tunamlilia baba yeye si kwamba anatulia sisi kwa sababu ana haja awe rais but sisi tuna haja kwamba awe pale juu kwa sababu tunamuona ndio mwenye roho ya kutupigania haswa kama wa Kenya so wale watanguzwa watumbo zao waende mwisho wa siku pia watatamani warudi huku na imani watarudi waacha waende baba abaki na wale wako na misimamo lakini tuhakikishe kwamba hili lengo na lile azima lilizungumzwa hapa jana limeshatimia na imani litatimia kwa uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu kupita sisi wananchi so ule mfumo alikuwa anasema ni wa zamani ya bahaja balisha aesthetics ni maandamano hatutaenda kwa maandamano na fikira yeye tu bali tutamkata the whole country ile naomba tu afuta jakaranda aende sehemu nyingine aende sehemu nyingine kwanza kumuonyesha kwamba wananchi ni namna gani then tufanye kumalize haswa na kile nawaomba wakenya wenzangu hapa kidonda kukuachana na inzi ni kidonda kupona na kupona ni kwamba tushaiona tayari lengo na hii serikali miezi mingi moja na msini tu wapi wanalenga jinsi walivyo hawakuwa haswa wamejipanga kiongozi ilikuja shtukizi tu na hawajazoea hawa watu kutimiza ahadi zao hawa ni watu wa deal na kuhakikisha kwamba ni wapi kwenye pesa tutengeneze mapeni yetu hatutongozwa hivyo kwa hiyo wa Kenya wenzangu mimi nitaungana tena na wale vijana walizungumza jana mpaka wakamtatiza waka baba kwanza kanyamaza kuwasikiza only healing solution ruto must go ruto must go ndivyo tutengeneze haya mashimo tuzibe zibe haswa haya maneno tunayaona mabovu mabovu tuitengeneze Kenya upya ili tukia 2027 njia ni swafi fisadi hana nafasi ukabila hauna nafasi na mkenya ajivunie yuko katika nchi yake nitakwambia pale ndugu yangu pike asante 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 sana ndugu mzalendo uh, hapo i mean sorry <laughs> chaka mdune asante sana kwa hayo mama ma, i mean mchango huo wako mzuri kabisa kabisa uh, ni kweli sasa tunafanya round ya mwisho mwisho uh, kweli ni kwamba <laughs> Unajua tunacheka tukisikia uh, watu wa UDA namna wanavyozungumza. Yaani watu ni wachanga mno wa akili kwamba hata masomo hawasomi vitu. Hawaelewi revolution ni nini. Revolution ni kama mto ndugu yangu. Kanaanza kule juu kakiwa kadogo tu. Kule juu Rivatana imeanza mahali ukiambua this is the source of Rivatana you not believe. If you go and see the source of River Nile it it's unbelievable. But look at what it does. Na kile imepeleka kule <laughs> I mean watu wanatakiwa wajue wasome about uh, at, kuna Aida ametaja hapa you know the the spring the arab uh, arab revolution ilianza vipi hii ya Ethiopia ya, ya, ya hapa juzi imeanza vipi hii ya nani iliyomuongoa Al-Bashir ambaye alikuwa akitembea at watu walikuwa na imagine the earth was shaking I mean the earth around him you know he would look at you like this you faint because at wanasema alikuwa na power zingine za ajabu where is he 
alitolewa na ka, a, a young girl, a young lady with all due respect. Na kakitambaa keupe kama kakangu. She was there, akana imba hivi hivi, siku mbili, siku tatu, wiki ya, ya pili, she was mobilizing more than 200,000 people. I mean, why are we insulting Kenyans? Muzalendo, I sympathize with you, my friend, but luckily you live outside. Uh, ungekua Kenya, ungepitwa na wewe kama lightning. You know, watu watapitwa nao. Umesikia vile wale pale kamkunji, 